tuning in. Today I am in my closet and I'm going to share with all of you my top six secrets or tips for a perfectly organized closet. Now I promise you, you do not have to have a nice or even a big closet for these tips to be helpful. These are the organizational space saving tips that I promise will change your life. And I utilize them myself, which is why I'm going to show you examples of these tips by giving you a little tour. So I'm so excited to have you in my home. This is my closet room that was recently redesigned by California Closets, and I'm just so excited to show you my tips. So if you love this video, make sure to give it a share and of course a subscribe. Just click that button below. I think it is so important with smaller spaces for your furniture to do double duty. For your bedroom, I think it's smart that if you have a chair or a bench in your room or even an ottoman like I have here, that you can actually store stuff in it. See, look at what I have. This is an ottoman in the middle of the room, but when you open it up, you see all my jewelry and my handbags are here. And I got this one from Home Goods, and I think it was like a hundred bucks. So you can buy them really affordably. So Think about that if you you know feel like you need some extra storage do you have room for maybe a chair or a little ottoman or a bench and make sure you can store stuff in it now I've used these things for years actually probably decades and they are ideal for sectioning out big drawers you know when you have a dresser usually you have a big drawer and then you know everything kind of floats in it well I love these drawer dividers because they create three mini compartments in one big drawer and they're ideal for organizing smaller items like your socks your sports bras your underwear your bras for me, I'm only gonna show you my one drawer because I'm not showing my underwear and bras. <laughs> this one is my workout tops, my sports bras, and my socks all in one drawer organized perfectly. And these things are cheap. I'm going to list all of the products I'm talking about in the description below. This last tip leads me into my next tip of rolling my clothes. Now I always roll my clothes because I feel when you're looking at your drawer, when you have a bird's eye view looking over, you can easily pick up the rolled clothes and kind of see what's layered under rather than looking at a drawer and there's a stack of clothes and you're like, you know, which one, like I don't know which top. Like for me, I feel like rolling your clothes maximizes your space and also minimizes wrinkles. And I just love like the little burrito effect and looking at everything and it's just so much easier. For deep shelving spaces or high, hard to reach shelves, I always like to use trays to create a pseudo drawer. For instance, you see this space that I have here. It's this huge shelf and normally you would just throw a bunch of stuff in there and just very disorganized. For me, I'll organize things nice and neatly in the back of the shelf. And then I will organize a bunch of things on the tray. That way, when I need to get to the back of the shelf or even the tray, I can just slide it in and out. So smart. And this also works for really high up shelves. You know, a lot of times in closets, you have those really high up shelves and you're always like jumping to try and get what you need. Well, for me, I think this is also a really helpful tip. Maybe you wanna just stack clothes on the tray and then slide it. So instead of getting on a chair and like, you know, going through everything folded, you can just get up there, pull the tray down, and everything is there. Now, I totally got sucked in to the marketing power of MC Hammer. I don't know if you saw those commercials running with him using those command hooks. They're basically just these sticky adhesive hooks that you just stick to anything without using nails or a hammer, which is exactly how I like to do things. So I thought, oh, I know what I can do with these little command hooks. So, you know the wall way back behind where you hang all your clothes, I like to use this spot to hang my handbags. So as you see, I just stuck that command hook back there and now I hang my crossbodies and just really thin strapped handbags. And you would never see them. And you wouldn't believe, but this little silver hook is also just a sticky hook. And I hang like 10 things on it and it hasn't fallen yet. Now, oh, and you can also use these hooks to hang necklaces, belts, scarves, whatever you want. This next tip is a little trick we used to use in the wardrobe department when I was working on movie sets and music videos, and it is called waterfalling hangers. And I think most of us can relate to the fact of having way too much stuff. Well, with this, you waterfall your skirt hanger. So basically, you just take the hanger and you link it in to the hole and you just cascade the skirt hangers down like this. That way you're minimizing the space you're using on the actual rack because your clothes are now going vertically instead of horizontally. 
<laughs> so smart. So now's the time for you guys to let me know if you thought these tips were helpful. I really hope that they make your life easier and more organized because an organized life is a happy life. <laughs> and you will also see more photos of my closet on my Instagram. So make sure to follow my life and images over there. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so right now. And if you have a friend who needs a little help in the organizational department, just share this video with them. They'll be happy you did. And thank you guys so much for viewing. Bye everyone.